Hey guys, welcome back to Can't Ask It Out. Kyle still can't talk. I don't have all my voice back yet. I did get a lot of advice from you guys though, remedies and things to try, and I have medicines. I'm on the up and up. I'm not sleeping much at night, bear with me, but I'm healing. It just takes time. So anyway, today it's like springy again. So we got plenty to do. I don't want to talk anymore. It hurt me to listen to me in the last video. So we're going to get a lot more work done today and take advantage of this beautiful weather. I'm really hoping to get all the siding done today. I'm really hoping she gets all the siding done today. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's a big, yeah. that's a big chore, but yeah. we'll see what we can do. I'm going to finish out trimming the doors. We got some handles, locks and things, and then it's window time. So Shannon can get the sides of the shed sided as well. Side, yes. Siding on the sides. Let's just yeah. get to it. We're going to get right to it. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, it's officially window time. I got the area clear here. I just need a little bit of assistance from Shannon and I got a few attack strategies on that. So we're gonna see how this goes, but I gotta go find the boss lady because I need some help. It's looking so good. I'm gonna do these so that she can finish these out, but look at this. A boom. Hey, what you doing? Siding. Siding? Siding. That's X siding. And I've been you, you didn't I mean, where are you at? I've been taking a few puppy breaks. Honey. What? That's X siding. Oh my gosh. I didn't know what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> and you weren't even going to stop to think or ask or anything. You're just going to move right on like, yeah. Well, my puppy He says came... a lot of stuff that we don't need to hear. My puppy came to see me. Yeah, this boy just keeps trying to find himself a good napping spot, but he's very curious what we're doing, so it's hard to keep him around. And he won't give in. No. Like, he's a puppy. He lays down for two minutes, and then he's up. Well, it's fun. What are you doing? I need some help. I got the area in there clear for the windows, but I need another set of eyeballs and hands to come help me if you don't mind. Okay. Are you at a break point? Yeah, because I'm, I'm out of boards actually. I need to cut the ends of them to square them off. So I can go ahead and stop now because I have to cut boards anyway. Let's do it. Okay. So what's your game plan here? Install windows. Sort of kidding. So I've got my one inch hole bit and I've already put the two corners in here. That way you and I knew where to stop the siding out there. Uh -huh. But I've never done this before. If you guys know, I'm a former IT guy, 20 plus years. I've installed windows a lot, like way more times than I could ever tell you. But this is different. This is a different window. This is my first time. So I got oh a few different- Oh my gosh, I just now got your windows reference. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was sitting there going, he's never installed a window in his life. What is he talking about? Well, Microsoft Windows. Microsoft Windows. I've installed it, updated it, changed it, altered it. I've done that millions of times. And this, hopefully this is a little bit easier, but I mean, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. It should be, it'll be good. So okay. what I'm gonna do is play connect the dots. My first theory is I'm gonna use the reciprocating saw from in here. I'm gonna give myself some corners. Uh, maybe a few more relief points just if I need to pull the saw and get a different angle. I'm going to cut it from the inside. If that doesn't work very well, then what I can do is drive some nails and draw some lines on the outside and run the circular saw. If that doesn't work, i got like five more saws. We're just going to go through them all. <laughs> so I'm going to start on this one with the reciprocating saw theory uh, and then we'll move over to that one once we figure out what's working best here. Okay, wait, I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Are you going to install the window first before you go and cut the other hole? It'll depend. On what? What I decide to do when I get there. <laughs> if this goes as smoothly as it could and probably should, you know, basically I'm gonna cut this out. I've got my flashing tape and we're gonna install that on the interior of the windowsill and I should be able to throw some adhesive up there and get the window in. Oh, so it's like a super easy install on the window. I'm not saying those words, but yes, hypothetically, as long as everything's still square, uh, I did test fit the windows after we jacked it up a bit just to make sure that none of my framing shifted, which it did not. It should just go right in. Famous last words. We'll see how this goes. Well, you know, all the YouTube videos I watched, they started and they finished and the windows were installed when they were done. So all as right. long as I follow the, the path, then It'll be in there, right? All right, get to it then. Okay, let's make these guys a little bit bigger before I get started. Hey, did you guys know that some bits are rated at a certain RPM? Don't put these in your impact driver if they're not rated for that. My impact driver goes a lot faster in this drill. Be mindful. I'm not gonna tell you how I learned. How many bits did you break? I said I'm not gonna tell you how I learned. <laughs>
I didn't know you were in here with me. I'm just doing a bit of a spring cleaning, cleaning my windows here. I will never turn down you doing any kind of cleaning whatsoever. Well, this is a huge game changer. <laughs> like just the feeling in the space and being able to actually see. Oh, I can't wait to come in there and see out. Um, I'm so glad it went as easily as you thought it would though. Come on in, man, check it out. You just dust off my sleeve out here a little bit. Oh, look at this view. Yeah. So I will say, I like the reciprocating saw. It is definitely easier on, on the lower plane than it is when you're up here. So I can take my sander if I need to, or I could take my jigsaw from the outside. I'll clean this up a little bit. And of course, I also have my oscillating saw if I need to. But the dangerous thing about your reciprocating saw is you don't want to be cutting into your sill. You can see I kind of, I don't know, sanded it more or less in a few spots where the blade made contact but oh, yeah. I did not bite into it. I would not do this in a house, me personally, because there's just a lot of room for potential air. Maybe I would, maybe now I would, but like there's a little chunk out, it's a shed. I don't care, it'll be fine. Uh, maybe that's not the best way to do it. I don't know, it works for the shed and I'm pretty sneaking excited about it. So every test fit I've done of the window has been from the inside out, except for before we had the OSB up, I did it from the outside. So this will be interesting. Do I, uh, you install it from the outside or from the inside? Outside. Okay. So I'll put it in from the outside and it's got a flange that goes all the way around. Before uh -huh. I put that on, I'll have the tape up and then I'll put the adhesive around that flange or around the wall and <clears throat> push it in and then it's got screw holes all the way around from the outside. Bury those behind trim and then you can side right up to it. Awesome. Yep. Okay. This is exciting. This is exciting. I personally say I'm going to get this window frame cleaned up a bit up here and in the corners and then I'll go ahead and set this window before we go back and cut that hole over there. I don't see any sense in stopping now and moving all the stuff over there. Yeah, I don't either. That's what I was going to suggest earlier, but I was just going to let you do what you wanted to do. There's another way to put that, but we'll skip that for today. <laughs> okay. Well, do you me... need to put the flashing on first? Not before I sand. I gotta sand this down flush with my two by fours. Oh, okay. Then the flashing goes on. But I don't want the flashing to go on until I know I have the opening. Like I'll dry fit the window before. <laughs> my watch made a glare on the wall. I thought it was a wasp. <laughs> I'll do a test fit, dry fit before I put the flex tape in just so that we know if I need to take off more or something. Okay. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I don't love this method. It's not rough enough. That makes sense. Do you want to get your jigsaw and see if you can just smooth it up a little bit? I think so. I feel pretty good about the bottom of it here. It gets really level because I was able to hold the saw level. So I went with aluminum windows instead of vinyl and you actually have a little bit less of a rough end gap. And because these windows weren't like perfectly square right out of the gate, I already used my gaps. Oh. So. <laughs> It basically needs to fit inside the two by fours and the header. I know that for a fact. Okay. Did you leave your mouth open again? <laughs> no, I knew it was coming this time. <laughs> I don't really have a better way to do it. I think we're good on all of it except for the top now. The corners aren't as square as they could be, so I'm just thinking of places we may run into fitment issues to keep in mind so that I can come back to it as we're test fitting. So let me test fit after I vacuum up some of the sawdust because that drives me nuts to bury sawdust underneath a window for all of eternity. So I'll get that vacuumed out and get the window. Okay. How am I doing? Great.
She's in there, isn't she? Yeah, you really don't have to trim the top. You actually have a gap. That was by design. Oh, yeah? It was. I can't even tell you guys how excited I am, not only to have a window, but with this being done, I can keep siding and finish that side out. Super excited. So I've never used this before. I think this is one of the most common brands or whatever, but flashing tape, you know, do you have to do this on a shed? Probably not, but there's about 60% of things we've done on this shed to go over the top. This is something you have to do in home to weather seal and water seal your seams. But uh, you know, we're just gonna roll this out and get it around the edges. I will do the two sides and the bottom and then I'll cut them and we'll kind of fold them in. So that'll cover my seams between my two by four and my OSB on the outside to keep all moisture, air, everything out here. And then after we get the window installed, I'll put the final piece over the top because that flange, I don't want the, the flashing behind it or water can just run behind the window. So when that flange is up there, I tape over the top of the flange and that helps push the water out and around or just down on the outside of the window. Good to know. Yeah. The concentration tongue is out. <laughs> That's how I always know Kyle is super concentrated on whatever it is he's doing. That tongue comes out and it's just, I got, it's, it's focus time. Problem if I got fall death in my beard and now it's on my tongue. Gross. I think my mom has pictures when I was a kid, when I was, I was an aspiring artist back then, you know, coloring and drawing was my forte. And uh, man, I would be <laughs> in my own world with my tongue out. I'd have a red ring around my mouth because I'd lick my entire lips and it was so funny. But I, uh, that tongue <laughs> still makes its debut when I'm thinking hard. Concentration tongue. Now you got me thinking about it, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm sure I will, give me two minutes. Okay, so we're just gonna cut at an angle or just straight nope. down? In this case, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. In this case, we're just gonna go straight down. I'm gonna try not to close it until I get the other one done. Now, I would recommend use like a utility knife. This is a very, very sharp knife that I manually sharpen, uh, but you want a sharp knife, otherwise you're just gonna fold this stuff over and that will probably get super frustrating. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it out and let's do the middle first. And this is why it's important that I vacuumed after I was done cutting, because if there were sawdust down here, we would have major problems trying to get this to stick. All right, perfectionists and OCDers like myself, the right thing to do is to finish these two and then you come back and you cut little pieces and you basically do the reverse of what we just did with that cut, but then it folds out and flaps around, thus covering the corner perfectly. So we're gonna find out by the time I'm done with these two pieces, is it gonna drive me nuts so much so that I have to do that uh, or can I just be done with it and we move on? It, it will cover fairly well because I'll go over and cut, but you and I will all know that there's a tiny little hole right here that's not filled. So let's see how that goes. That's nice, man. That's a, this, is, this feels official. Got to get in just the perfect spot. Hey, I'm not getting a level out. How's that? <laughs> Got to give you a hard time. Oh, I appreciate it. To your face. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing Kyle is tall because I can't even reach to the top of this window frame. Well, you know. Good job, babe. We could probably do this from the inside out. Okay, okay. That's how I would have had to do it. it for my perfectionist and my OCD, or stick around the next seven seconds. Look, look, zoom in here. So for my geometry buffs, you would know that whenever we, we cut these lines and we fold over that seam, it's impossible to get that closed. And so you'll see, see a little bit of that OSB right there. Itty bitty tiny spot. Uh-huh. But that is a place where water could get. 
Now, I'm sure if we look a little closer at the roof or the siding or the corners, there's nine million other spots that there's worse exposure to moisture than that right there. So, so what are you going to do? Are you going to close the gap or are you going to leave it? I was kind of waiting for my wife to say, hey, just get my window installed. Why don't you do the other two pieces first? We'll see what happens. I'll come back out tonight, remove the window, put the flashing up, put the siding back up. She'll never know. I'll never know. Famous last words. She'll never know. You just do whatever it's going to take to make you sleep well, babe. Oh, lately it's been a lot of Mucinex and Sinex. <laughs> <laughs> and even then it hadn't worked. I had to play a little catch up today. This is how I help, guys. I love it. I hold a tape of flashing. Oh, that was my yesterday. Yesterday I was, I was feeling okay, but I think I got about an hour night's sleep the night before and so Shannon was doing siding and I was like hey I'm here to help give me the repetitious mundane <laughs> job that you don't want to do I don't know how many ends of planks I cut off but I didn't go anywhere I didn't do anything it was just cuts hey I was super thankful for that because I was tired of going up and down the step stool and the ladder and so yeah I am I'm very appreciative tired from doing that for the last however many months this has taken us now so yeah. I, I appreciate your effort in doing that yesterday. You killed it. So did you. Everybody beware, my knife is in my left hand. And that's dangerous, I promise. You just gotta learn to be ambidextrous. Can't. I grew up playing basketball. Like they try to teach you how to do that while you're doing it. I can shoot a layup left-handed, that's it. Well, I can't play basketball, but I can use a nail gun with both hands. <laughs> How you feeling about it? Fantastic. Well, it looks great. Thank you. Okay, good. It still fits with the flashing in there. That's a good sign. Man, that's an exciting sight to see. And that's not terrible. Caulking is directly on the flanges. This may not be kosher, but this is what I'm doing. At least you won't miss your mark that way. It's true. Everything about these are, this is the cheapest window that we could find that you could open and still had a screen. So we keep wasps out uh, that the material aluminum, like these are cheap, cheap windows. I mean, I can't They're even not insulated. They're not. In fact, I wanted black, but black literally four times more. Four times. Same exact window. <laughs> it's bee season. I'm okay with them. It's the wasps, but you know, don't get so close. Nothing fancy about these. It's straight-ish. It's level-ish. It's plum-ish. But the important thing is it's a window and it's on our shed. Some of you mentioned it. We know that these could go vertically. And in most cases, most homes, you would. Uh, but because it's our shed and, well, we just wanted a wider window rather than a taller window, we turned it sideways. And that's totally fine. But this was by design. We know it could go the other way. And you could install it however you want. We'll make sure we seal these down as best we can. What do you think? I think that looks fantastic. Now, for those of you who are professional window installers, or you've done this before, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear it. That was the best window installation ever. Great job. Today, on this shed anyway. I'm excited. You can go see if it opens? Yes. All right, the moment of truth. How unplum, unlevel is my window? I'm really excited about this. Ta -da! Do you feel wind? There's no breeze blowing right now. <laughs> right now we have a working, functioning window. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good job, babe. All right, well, I'm gonna get the other one installed and then I can trim them and then you can keep siding up around them. Good with that? Very good, yes. I'm excited about that. All right, well, thanks for your help. Thank you. You bet.
much doing. Let's check and see if my Goo Gone and my Windex did the trick. Windows don't come straight from the factory all clean. Did you know that? Well, they probably come from the factory clean, but after they sit in a warehouse forever, in a store forever. And outside here. And outside here forever. <laughs> yeah, but they put, I think, at least four stickers yeah, on each paint. Understand. And then when I pulled it off, it leaves, you know, like invent the sticker that doesn't leave the residue. Yeah, I they feel have those stickers. They do. They must be silly expensive or something. But I, know, it's really I, I really, crazy. I would give the company credit that stands by we will only use stickers that won't force you to put so much elbow grease into it as soon as you're done that's just my two cents anyway really enjoying these windows i don't think and you and i were talking about this yesterday i don't think we gave them as much credit as they deserve for really giving this the final feel we were going for really opening it up oh yeah like i walked in this morning and now that i've put the windows in i was running my power through a hole in what was the window hole and so i could go ahead and get my doors closed well now i'm back to having to bring the power in but when i came out this morning it was really nice i opened the door and i could still see in here because well we have windows that's nice so it's the little wins and i don't want to take it for granted inspector Nall is out here no uh, one to close the video out with us today yeah. does it pass does it pass no are you good with it that's my good girl I put her there. That's my girl. <laughs> That's my girl. I love you. Good puppy. Hey, let's look at the awesome job you did on the outside. All right. Well, we worked fairly late last evening and it was perfect weather for it, so no complaints. But Shannon made some awesome progress and she had a little helper. I had a big helper. Oh, she had a little big helper. <laughs> big little helper. Either way, check this out, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Boom. You absolutely killed it, babe. Thank you. I love it. It's pretty exciting to see, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, as far as the structure and everything, it looks great and it all comes together, blah, blah, blah. You got the lows up here, but you just can't see it till you start doing the finish work. It ties together so well. I'm gonna live in this thing. I don't think we can call this thing a shed. <laughs> I'm putting a bed in there, I'm living in it. I'm finishing that thing out. Well, you did a great job on your windows. Thanks. They look absolutely fantastic i've got a little bit more painting to do but no big deal yeah and this is what i was talking about i don't know if you can tell but the frame of the window that's actually brown and i don't care i could not care less you really can't tell <laughs> saved us a ton of money they had them in stock once we get the trim finished painting i'm going to work on that here in just a little bit and uh, we can finish the siding all the way up yeah and we get to play with that fun angle up there but i'll take care of that you're good at math you can handle it yeah but I think it's looking great, babe. Oh my gosh, I love it. And remember, I don't know, it seems like people may not make it to this part of the video to hear this because we always get a ton of comments asking, no, this is not the final look. We will still burn this with the torch and it'll technically look a little better because we're going to seal in the burn this time. Yes. So I'm going to talk Shannon into getting that going uh, sooner than later. I think I want to finish the siding first. Well, you have to. You can't burn but it if yes, it's not Yes, I up. will burn it and seal it very soon. Okay. As soon as I have all the siding up. All right, well, I guess that means she needs a little more help from me and we'll get the siding all done. You show me your other window? Yeah, that one I actually had pieces that were already painted. So you get the full black effect around it. It's looking good. We can't stop staring I'm at so it. I'm so excited. It looks better than I imagined. I had a vision in my head but this is, this is better. This is exactly how I envisioned it. Well, good. <laughs> no, the really cool and weird thing is like when you're doing the finished work like this, it's not until you do it that it, you can really appreciate it. And so while this looks beautiful and amazing and you did a killer job, it's still going to take more form and shape once we get it burned in. Just to give a little bit of an example as to what the burned wood is gonna look like, Use your imagination. I'm using it. Mm -hmm. I think it looks great. That... I'm really excited. Okay. It's taking shape. Well, personally, I am ready to wrap this one up. We've got a few more finishing touches for all of the trim work and everything, the siding. So as far as the aesthetics, we're almost there. We got a little bit more functionality to add, most specifically and challengingly, the electrical. But I'm feeling confident. I have faith in you. That I'm gonna shock myself multiple times. 
I hope it's on video. <laughs> oh gosh. I thought she was gonna say, I hope you don't shock yourself. Well, I mean, I do hope you don't shock yourself. But if but I do, if you do, it better be on video. Please get on video. Okay. <laughs> well guys, thank you so much for all your thoughts and prayers about my health and my well-being. And I am feeling a lot better. I think I got just a little bit left, at least in the voice. You're close though. Yeah, and we're gonna be back in full swing. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap this one up so that I can get back to work on this guy and then we'll uh, we'll show you the updates in the next video. Yep. Guys, we love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey with us. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.